Hi there stampers and crafters. I'm Tammy from stampwithtammy.com and today I am going to show you how to create this super cool curtain fold technique. It's a very very beautiful card created by my friend Martha for a Stampin' Demonstrator group swap that we did recently and everybody wanted to know how she made it. And she hasn't started making videos yet so I told her I'd make one with her card. Isn't it beautiful? It's a super fun and easy fold and what's really great about this is that we can use the double-sided designer paper and not feel bad about the side that gets stuck down that you always have to hide because they're both usually so beautiful and I don't know about you but I often feel guilty when I have to stick part of that beautiful paper down and glue it <laughs> to be hidden forever. So with this card using both sides of the paper makes my conscience feel a little better <laughs> and it's beautiful. All right, you wanna see how to make it? Let's get started. Here is a close-up of this beautiful card. Again, this is called the curtain fold or the drapery fold, and it's so easy to do. I'll be using two Stampin' Up! stamp sets on this card today, Picture Perfect and Botanical Blooms. All of the supplies that I'm using today, as well as a free PDF file with all the supplies, measurements, and score lines are available in my stampwithtammy.com blog simply by going to this URL or clicking in the link in the YouTube description below. The words are from the Picture Perfect stamp set. I'm going to stamp them in some Cajun Craze ink. Whoops, hanger. I'm gonna stamp them in some Cajun Craze ink on a piece of Whisper White scrap. And we'll be using the two inch circle punch to punch that out. I like to use these upside down so you can see exactly where you're punching and it's totally fine that the bottom isn't quite in the circle because we're cutting this off anyway. So just paper trimmer or your scissors and cut that off. And then with a mossy meadow ink pad and a wedge of a stampin' sponge, we're gonna sponge around the edges of that word panel. Okay, next we're gonna create our flowers and we'll be using the Botanical Bloom stamp set and, whoops, <laughs> wee! <laughs> In the matching Botanical Builders framelits, if you purchase these two together, you get a 15% off discount, which is great. So these are the framelit pieces that I am using on this card. The leaves I actually stamped, the flowers I, the flowers I just sponged. So we'll do the sponging after, but we'll do the stamping before. So some Mossy Meadow ink on the Mossy Meadow cardstock for a little tone on tone for the flowers. I've got the Big Shot die cut machine, the magnetic platform, and one cutting pad. Okay, I've lined up the flowers on Cajun Craze, the inserts on Crushed Curry, and this flower is gonna have to go through twice because we're doing two of the same leaf. Just lining that up over where we just stamped it. These were made to go together so they fit perfectly. Then put one cutting pad on top and all these can go through together. Just gonna send it through one more time for the second leaf. And here's our flower pieces once everybody's cut out. Isn't that awesome how it's so easy and everybody just fits together. Next, I'm gonna take the Cajun Craze flowers and a Cajun Craze ink pad and a little wedge of a sponge and just get the edges just a little extra to make them pop. Love me some sponging. we will do that on both of the Cajun Craze flowers. And then we'll take some mini glue dots to stick the centers to the flowers. And I actually just put them right on the glue dot and then stick them right to the flower so you don't have to stick your finger to the glue dot and then stick your finger to the flower and then get all stuck together. And then we'll just put these aside while we start the curtain fold. We're gonna be using the Botanical Garden Designer Paper. And this is actually made to match the stamp set and the framelits, so the images are the same, which is really neat. These sheets are 12 by 12, so I'm just taking the paper trimmer and cutting it to five and a half by 12. And then we're gonna mark up one inch from the bottom. And just mark it with a ruler and then one inch from the top on the, op on the opposite side and just mark that with a ruler. And slide that in the paper cutter. I'm gonna zoom in just so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm lining up 
the two marks, the two tick marks that I just made with the blade of the cutting pad. And then we're just going to trim it. This is going to actually give us two sheets so we can make two cards out of this. I don't know. This is the same one that Martha used. My friend Martha designed this card. I actually think I'm going to change my design up to this one. Because why not? Let's mix it up. Now this fun little tool is the Simply Score board. And this is going to make it really easy to score. This, is, this here is a stylus that came with the board. And the scoring measurements that I'm about to tell you, they are on this free PDF that's on my blog. So you don't have to memorize them. I'm scoring the long side and I'm starting on the widest side with one inch. So one, three, look at how easy that is to score with. <laughs> Love this guy. Four, six, seven inches, nine, 10 and 11. We're going to fold the first under and then just fold it back and forth like an accordion. I'm just going to use the bone folder to burnish these. And that's it. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And that that's it. It's that easy. Now, I'm taking some snail on the back of each of these little folds just to keep it flat. so it doesn't pop up when we put it down on our card. Starting with our words, I'm gonna pop that up with some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. And that goes in the lower right hand corner. Some snail adhesive on the back of our curtain panel. Line that up on our card. Little Cajun craze, shower curtain rod, I'll call it. <laughs> strip, decorative strip for the top. And then our two big flowers go on with Stampin' Dimensionals to pop them up. And our leaves will stick on with some mini glue dots. Just kind of place them in under the flowers. And that is all there is to this beautiful curtain fold. Here it is with two different designs from the same Botanicals designer's paper pack. Both of them are just awesome. You can get the downloadable PDF with the measurements and scoring on my stampwithtammy.com blog. And be sure to sign up for my newsletter while you're over there because I send out free card bonus tutorials every Tuesday. Thanks for joining me today.